Unit 2 Fiction for Younger Children and Non Readers. This presentation is aimed at anyone who will be running a reading group or helping students to use the school library, or anyone teaching literacy and reading skills. This may be a student, teacher, parent, or volunteer. The activities and worksheets will be useful to all schools and all teachers of Nepali and English not only in the context of library reading groups. The aims of the presentation are to explain how to use the Library Nepal worksheets included in this unit, to provide advice and suggestions of how to use and adapt these sheets to suit your needs, to instill confidence and provide inspiration so that group leaders feel empowered to make the best use of their library sessions. We recommend that you watch the whole presentation before your session. You could also revisit the relevant slides prior to leading each session to remind yourself of key information. The first two slides of this presentation explain how to use the Library Nepal worksheets and give general suggestions about how to adapt them to suit your students. If you have already listened to this part of the presentation in another unit, you can skip ahead to Worksheet 1, Stories, although it may be useful to listen again. Unit 2 covers fiction for younger children and non-readers and will help your reading group become more comfortable reading and talking about books and stories. In this unit, your reading group will talk about characters discuss how stories work, make predictions about stories and read aloud together. The activities have been designed so that they can be adapted for use with learners of all ages and abilities and suggestions have been given for how to do this. If an activity does not seem suitable for your group, just miss it out and go to the next one or think about how you could do it differently. This presentation will give you an overview of each worksheet with a list of necessary equipment and helpful tips for some activities. The activities in this unit cover a range of skills including group discussion, group reading, writing and drawing. They include working independently, in pairs and as a group. These activities are signposted by the icons that you can see on screen. The icons indicate the suggested way for using the activity, but this is not necessarily the only way. Most of the activities can be adapted in any way that you choose. For example, writing activities can be done as speaking activities if you don't have writing materials. Pair work can be done as a whole group. Whole group discussions can be done in pairs. The icons are there as guidance, so think about what will work best in your own situation and feel free to be creative. The star icons are particularly important as they mark out helpful tips that will support you when leading the sessions. How to use the worksheets. The activities for each unit are displayed on a one-sided worksheet. Where possible, print out some copies of the worksheet to share around the group. However, don't worry if this is not possible. Instead, you could Display the worksheet on screen if you have access to a computer. Display the worksheet on a mobile phone and show the students. Write up the activities on a large chalkboard or whiteboard. Look at the worksheet before the session and make a note of the activities you can do with your reading group. Or you could simply read through the worksheets yourself to get some good ideas for inventing your own learning activities with your class or reading group. You don't have to print things out or even have the activities on screen in the library. If resources are scarce, any of the writing or drawing activities 
can be done as group discussion activities instead. Students can tell stories rather than writing them down or describe what they would draw. The activities are flexible and can be adapted to suit the availability of resources in your library or school. Remember, you can download all of the resources at any time and store them on any device, a computer, a local network or your own phone by going to www.library-nepal.com. Additionally, remember that all the resources are free of copyright, so you can copy any of the ideas, pictures and activities in resources that you might want to create yourself. The aim of Library Nepal is to inspire you to exploit your library to the full so that you can inspire others. Worksheet number one, stories. In this session, the reading group will learn about story structure. Stories have a beginning, a middle and an ending. The students will make up new endings to stories they know, put a cartoon in the correct order and write a story as a group based on the images in the cartoon. For this session, the only equipment the students need is something to write or draw on, for example, some paper, a chalkboard or a whiteboard. If this isn't possible, the writing activities can be done as group discussions instead. Activity 1 is a pair activity. On the worksheet, there are four pictures. These pictures tell a story, but they are in the wrong order. The pictures show a beginning, a middle and an ending to a story and the pairs have to decide which is the correct order. To help your students, it will be useful to talk about the beginning, middle and ending of stories before completing this activity. Also, make sure your group knows that events happen in a logical order. The suggested order is shown on screen. Activity 2 draws upon the work you did in Activity 1. As a group, look again at the pictures. Discuss how the story would be different if the pictures were in a different order. For example, how would the story be different if it started in the library rather than ending there? In Activity 3, the students work as a group to write a story based on the pictures. Each student takes it in turns to say one sentence of the story. If anyone finds this difficult, you could ask them the prompt questions on the worksheet. These include What are the characters called? Does the elephant have a name? Where are they going? Are there any other characters? And how do the characters feel? Your students might feel more comfortable answering these questions and building the story from the responses. If you have something to write on, you could also write the story down. Worksheet number two, describing characters. In this session, the reading group will describe characters using pictures found in books in the library. The students will use a variety of artworks and picture books to describe a character's appearance. The group will also make up and draw characters. For this session, you need a selection of picture books and something to write and draw on. For example, some paper, a chalkboard or a whiteboard. If this isn't possible, the writing and drawing activities can be done as group discussions instead. Activity 1 is a group activity in which the students describe the characters on the worksheet. On the sheet, you will see pictures of an old man, a tiger and a bird. You could ask the group to take it in turn saying one thing about one of the characters. There is a list of discussion questions on the sheet to help you in case your group struggles. For example, 
Is the character a person or an animal? In activity two, the students work as a group to describe a well-known character. Think of a character that everyone knows and describe his or her appearance as a group. This could be a god or goddess or someone from a well-known fable or story. You could use the discussion questions from the previous activity if your group gets stuck. In activity three, the students describe characters they find in picture books. Share a selection of picture books around the group and ask the students to work in pairs. If possible, each student could have a book. Students take it in turns to find and describe characters from pictures to their partners. Their partner then looks through the book and finds the character that was described. Alternatively, this could be done as a whole group. In activity four, the students make up and draw new characters. This is a pair activity in which each student draws a picture of a character. The pairs then swap pictures with each other and describe three things about the character. This could be the character's height, size, hair colour, eye colour, clothing or any interesting features. If there are no drawing materials available, your group could work in pairs and make up a character. They could describe to the rest of the group what the character looks like. The group should suggest a story that the character could be from. Worksheet number three, reading together. In this session, the sheet is separated into activities for readers and non-readers. The reading group will make predictions about what will happen in a book based on pictures. The students will then either read the book aloud together or the reading champion can read the book to the group if the students cannot read yet. For this session, the students need a selection of picture books and short story books and something to draw on. For example, some paper, a chalkboard or a whiteboard. If this isn't possible, they can do the drawing activities as group discussions instead. This sheet is divided into two sections, activities for readers and activities for non-readers. You can decide which activities would most benefit your group. Let's look at the activities for readers first. In activity one, the students choose a book from the library and predict what happens in the story. As a group, look at the front cover of the book and discuss what it looks like together. Ask the students what they think the story is about and what they think will happen. Make sure your group chooses a short book so you have time to read it together in the session. In activity two, the group takes it in turns to pass the book around and read a sentence out loud to find out what happens in the story. If a student doesn't feel comfortable reading out loud, don't force them to. Activity three is another group discussion activity. The students compare their predictions from activity one to the story they have just read aloud. Encourage the students to summarize what they have read and discuss how it differs or is similar to their earlier predictions. There are also three activities for non-readers. Remember that if you are using the worksheet in your session, you will need to read these activities aloud to your students. Activity one is a group activity in which the students choose a picture book from the library and guess what they think will happen in the story. Encourage the students to look at the front cover and pictures in the book and describe what is happening in each one. If you can, 
you could write these down to keep a record of your group's ideas. Then you should read the book to them and discuss as a group whether their ideas were correct. In Activity 2, your students can try and recognise words. They should choose another picture book from the library, but this time they will look through the pages for words they might know. Your group might not be ready to read a whole picture book yet, but they might be able to recognise some words in the text. Make a list of any words they know, and as a group, try to make a sentence out of them. Can they predict what happens in the story based on these words? If your group struggles with this activity, you could repeat Activity 1 with a different picture book. Activity 3 is a drawing activity. Each student can choose their favourite part of any story they've been told in this session and then draw a picture of it. If you don't have access to drawing materials, this could be a discussion activity where you have a group discussion about your favourite parts of the stories. You may find it useful to revisit the relevant slides of this presentation before running your sessions. Remember that the activities are all suggestions and you should feel empowered to adapt them to suit your students and circumstances. We wish you every success with setting up your school reading programme following our suggestions and materials. All of our worksheets are available for download at www.library-nepal.com If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on info at